Hey guys, Panda here, back with another deck. I've generally aimed the few decks I've put out so far towards newer players as they're uh, generally kind of on the cheap side in terms of scraps and definitely not optimized for top level play. Missing things such as Karathi Heatwave or Erin Diet or just whatever busted legendary neutral card fits each deck as we just don't have access to those cards yet. However, this one's a little bit more pricey, even though I still haven't crafted some of those previous neutral legendaries. Anyway, this deck is not that cheap on scraps and not that competitive at the top end and by this I mean I struggled at rank 7 to hit a 50% win rate but with some tinkering and a lot of learning finally started winning more than I lost. So anyway I'll just point out a couple of the key inclusions and combos rather than doing the full card list today. First up we have Dagon so I didn't usually use this on first round or in second round this is usually a round 3 play for me after it's evolved so the evolved form gives you a timer. It becomes a death wish card and a timer that has ever increasingly powerful effects that you get all of up to the timer. And the most important one being the five timer spawn a base copy of self in your hand. This becomes super important, especially if you are going to end up down on cards or if you are not going to have last say because this will effectively just give you another turn of play because you're playing a Dagon. We also have Brewers. This this one is normally used early, um, and generally this is used just to get some cheap power on board. So especially if you can re-trigger the Death Wish with, without actually consuming the Brewers, uh, you can pull a lot of the Bronze Death Wish units out of your deck and get a lot of power onto the board and thin your deck at the same time, leaving more premium plays for later rounds. Death Laugh is simply, can be consumed multiple times. It, comes back twice from your graveyard so you can use this to basically add this power to multiple consume units which is just a good power play. Arrakis Queen is very important and could be comboed with a lot of different things in here. Her deploy consume an allied unit and then death wish spawn a base copy of the consumed on, unit on this row can be used on the debt laugh to just continuously consume him or because it resets his timer or used on the Dagon especially if that Dagon's at five power because then you get a copy in the hand and then you can consume the Arrakis Queen and you get another copy on the board so you're up to three Dagons at that point the one of which has obviously already been consumed. We also have a Bayer so deploy trigger an ally unit's death wish ability this can be used on the Brewers to pull even more of bronze death wishes out of your deck without actually consuming her obviously you'd also then consume her can also be used on the Arrakis Queen so that you can end up with like three dead laughs or multiple Dagons. At one point I think I had five Dagons played in a final round. And then just kind of a couple of weird ones. I put a Spores in here because I was really struggling with decks that focused on just putting massive massive amounts of power on the board because this deck puts out power but not to the ridiculous combo levels that some other decks can. And also a Palar, because we were really struggling against Niflgaard, with them locking things like the Arrakis Queen or the Dagon. So this allows you to then purify that unit so that it no longer has a lock effect and you can continue to use whatever it is that you want to use. Pretty much everything else in the deck is just either removal or a death wish or a consume effect. So that's all the cards that we'll go over. Before we head into the games, I'll just mention we still have three more archetypes to explore and monsters before we head over to Northern Realms. And if you want to see us explore those, don't forget to subscribe and you can catch me over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash combatpanda007 where I stream Gwent once a week currently on Gwent's day. Let's get into the games. Hopefully we'll get there. I'd like to make five today. Sevens where we left off last week, obviously. I actually forgot to log in to do daily quests and stuff. Three death wish units. Although to be fair, hers isn't worth anything until there's a second succubus in the graveyard. Three death wishes, three consumes. And then we probably only play two death wishes and two consumes. Oh good. What's the worst thing that could be in their deck? Oh, they've got the boosty stuff. End of turn, boost a random unit in your hand by one. Could Riptide it, but I think they've got stronger cards to Riptide. It's midnight. I need to go to bed. Good luck with the climb. <laughs> Good night, man. Thanks for stopping in. Appreciate it. Use an allied unit with Harmony. Harmony is annoying. I don't have a Rot Fiend, do I? I could try and get one. Are they 
has one. Uh, I have consume units. Do I want to use this right now? I will use it right now. Okay, it's something. I'm gonna use both. So I obviously have consume effects available. Uh, so we probably look at troll and then Andrago warrior. Uh, too slow. No! Cat witcher. I'm quite far ahead though. What does fog do again? Damage lost power unit this row by two? Okay. Just gonna do that. Then I'll drag a warrior. Which isn't gonna kill the cat witcher actually. Probably bad choice. What I can do. There we go. I was gonna say I'll wait for it to move, it boosts by two. Oh no, only by one. And now we kill it. Also, double foglet was silly. Because there's not going to be that many turns left. Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me? Catnip instead of crowns? Right, okay. Yeah, double up on fog is actually pointless. I suppose there's a world where they uh try and play longer than turn four or down to four cards, but it seems pretty unlikely. Pretty unlikely. I wonder if there's contracts for having a certain amount of uh fog. It was for frost. Well I think it was for dealing frost damage, not for dealing fog damage. I mean not for duration. Okay. Well, they're still going. They're still going. I do not wish to keep going. If they play another card again, then that's just GG. Oof. Alright then, buddy. You've got two more power in the bank here. So you need to... Yep, there we go. Two cards ahead. We obviously have to play one at the start of this turn. That is a okay. Um, just double check. I don't think there's a succubus in the graveyard. Uh, eight cards. That's fine. No, no succubus. Cool. So we can just drop ours when they pass. Not passing. Not afraid. You should be. Why are they not passing? Oh damn. My hand's not actually set up that well for... I've got one consume effect. No, I've got two. Alright, I'm still gonna start with this. I'm just a sexy little cog in a fucked up machine called life. I mean, surely they don't beat us two cards down. Salty winds are blowing. Control only non-neutral units and damage it by two instead. Cool down one. That makes me sad. I'm gonna play this. And then consume it with the Arrakis Queen. And then consume the Arrakis Queen with the Toad. And in theory I get it back. There's a lot of cards though. That might be a really bad choice. Why are they shooting that? Huh? To I mean, I guess they are sure they can beat us. But I don't think they can, even though I'm nearly out of consumer fix. Hang on, what do we still have that's... Oh, did they pass? They passed. Standard. Uh, do they have any boosts? They don't get another end of turn, do they? That's already... I don't think they boost any. If they did, it'd only be Y1. Okay. I was just a little bit confused about their timing and stuff. I didn't want to get caught out. Okay. 
Consume, consume. Death with, death with. Death wish, death wish. Uses the death wish. This can be played very late. Um, I think I have, once again, too much death wish. So, what I might do. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. This is a death wish. So, I will keep this. Which I wasn't originally planning on doing. So, we're just going to lead out. We're not just going to lead out. Fuck! I long for freedom. I really, the, the one thing I just like about Death is that sometimes when you try and put a card back in your hand, it still plays. I mean, I think I was still hovered over the back row. But still. Shut up, shut up, human. Uh, no worries. Play this. Oh, hang on. No, 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 that's fine. I, um... For a moment, I was scared the bar guest was going to come, which obviously immediately deploys, uh, immediately consumes. Okay, good stuff. They don't seem overly concerned by what I'm doing. So we're going to play a bridge troll, which will spawn a bar guest, which will consume the bridge troll. I actually might not have enough death wishes. <laughs> I need to turn myself to my range. It's a cat witcher, but bigger. All other units on that row? Holy crap. I mean, it's still only one unit at a time, right? So what's the last thing that pops out? Pops out a night wraith, which is just spawn some rats. You rat bastards. So we'll do this. No blood will warm my bones. Consume it. Yes, should boost one of our rats. Alright, now that this is at five, we can use the abeyer to re-trigger it. No! Yes, that's fine. Last words. No worries, man. Wait, why did that boost? Ah, oh, it boosts when it does that. Okay, so we do this. To trigger its death rattle. Get another copy. How good. This card's power can be changed by other abilities. Okay. No worries. Play another one of these. Soon we'll consume this one, which will give us another copy. Dagon! Finally! I think this is the first time it hasn't been Karapi Heatwave. Like, genuinely. What is that? Okay. No worries, man. Gurn died. <laughs> Consume this to get another one. In turn. Play this. Didn't quite manage to get a fourth one. But hey, that was a good power boost. Probably a key card to try not to play early. 
This also leads to a lot of power in the last turn. So... Let's toss one of these foglets. Okay, that works for us. So we've got... This gets played, we play... I don't know. Wait, no, hang on. I don't have enough death wishes. Two death wishes. I just tossed a death wish. Why? Oh, this is fine. This is fine. We'll just weave in the Lord Riptide somewhere as well. You first. And then... And then what? I can... This doesn't really work on the suckers, I don't think. Uh, I might need to play a Deathless unit from my deck, actually. Here's maybe the Rock Fiend. Uh, Gryogena, thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. I could do a whole bunch of duplication using this. That seems tricky. Let's do this. What do you seek? Grab the Rot Fiend. Go there. We'll just use this. Not consume it yet. For uh, what I feel are obvious reasons. And then I don't know. Um, but yeah, so like the Arrakis Queen. You could... And you'd probably want to do this late. Well, no, because it has to be first round. Because the Inner Shadows, you could like drop a dead laugh. Consume it with the Arrakis Queen, and then trigger the Arrakis Queen with the Urn of Shadows to get a base copy, and then consume the thing, so you'd have three of the Dead Laughs on board. And that'd be cool. Uh, boosting ally unit by four, give vitality for at the start of the game if both players have this card in their deck, summon self to a random allied row. It's an interesting card. I don't have a lot of stuff I want to do here. Let's play the Succubus for now. We're not done if you can still walk. Gets us a bit of power. I'm just... I've just realised we're versing Niflgard. And it's the freaking imposter again. Try not to so scream basically so the last card that went to your opponent's graveyard on top of your deck. So... Oh, oh my god. Wait. Do they even have death wish cards? Interesting. What do we get? Seven cards? I could just kill it. Let's just kill it. I wanted to weave this in anyway. Um, and then the question is, what do I drop? Oh, we drop nothing. Fine by me, sir. That's going to put us relatively even on cards. That doesn't have resilience. I'll obviously have to play something at the start of the round. I actually also want to play stuff. I am light on consumer effects again. We can get double consume. We can actually get triple consume off of the haunt. Which means I might actually be light on death wish effects. I could consume the gurn. I mean, I don't want to play more than two cards here. So I might just do this. See if we can get out a, a heat wave or some form of premium removal. Um, if they do something to spawn a base copy, it just dies. Because uh, it's won't gain the deploy, gain armor. And hopefully that's not something that they realize. All is as it should be. Just gotta make sure we fill our contract. Um, and then we'll just toss a foglet to get us down to seven so we can hopefully find uh maybe those three. It's for the offer, but I prefer to create my own. Yep, there you go. And he's just made it so that my one can't die when the armor goes away because he locked it. Ha! <laughs> Get wrecked. <No. laughs> um, maybe I don't want to be tossing death wishes. I've just realized I've got both my leader charges still. Oh, no, no, it's fine. Because as long as we get the Brewers, we'll be able to pull heaps of death wishes. Well, two. And so I could maybe even Brewers and then hopefully consume it with the Arrakis Queen. Not the so many combos. Alright, mate. Carry on. You only need to make 8 power up. Uh, last card that went to your opponent's graveyard was a 
uh, I guess a succubus. Depending on playing another card. If they play another card, this is awesome for me. Because I get to play two cards after they've played their last card. That just seems like a really poor choice of card in this exact position. Go. Got his stuff, now he can pass. Uh, is this spawn and play? It's just spawn, right? Unless they're going to use these? That doesn't make any sense, because then they just get a bunch of sucky boy. You know, what are they speed. doing? Now. Okay. So not only does he go four first, but he has three less cards than us. There must be a reason. There must be a reason. Alright, so we are tossing that. Toad Prince is pretty good. I might toss Giant Toad. Fuck! I didn't get the shit I need. your turn if you use a random enemy unit when, with whenever this unit receives says damage itself by one damage itself by 12 instead i can't target it god damn okay so what do we lead with it's got to be the dead laugh right oh or it's this actually yeah wait hang on why did they wait what why is there two of them That would, would have been something they did last turn, I assume. Okay. Well. A couple of different options here. And I think I'm a fan of doing this. So we can start hopefully getting that. Whenever this unit receives a status damage self by one, this might die is the concern. I could consume this, but then I lose the potential consume there, but then we're not going to have dominance anyway. Ugh, I'm going to risk it. What, what the fuck have they done? Long live the Emperor! Wait, why is that? Oh, because this counts as a status itself. I need to know how they did this. Alright, swap a card from your opponent's graveyard with a card in your hand. Damage da, na, na, na. Spawn a base copy of the last card that went to your opponent's graveyard. Play any card. So many spawn a unit. I don't understand how they have three of them. Like, I just don't know. <laughs> Alright, it's time for this. And then, and then I don't know. And now they have four of them. Uh, he put it in your graveyard. Ah. Oh. Right. So, at the end of your turn, if you use a random enemy unit, wait, wait no, no. So, it was. Swap a card from your opponent's graveyard with a card in your hand. And then they use the order effect on spawn a base copy of the last card that went to your opponent's graveyard on top of your deck. So they should have a grand total of three. But there's a fourth plate because they only drew three cards. Ah, oh, no, hang on because they can do redraws. Of course. Anyway. Playing this. I don't know if that was the right choice. Play any card from your deck, which may be another one. It is another one. Good one. Give no quarter! Oh, yes! Okay. Will it live, though? That's the question. So, play this. 
we consume this. And then we just need to... There's the card he got off of us. I was going to say, we just need to consume our thing when it becomes a problem. Trigger an allied unit's death wish ability is... It's a little bit late in the pace, but we'll do this. It's now out of charges. It has a death wish, so we boost it here as well. If it's boosted, damage it by double the amount boosted. Okay, we're starting to reach a point, right? So we use this. Where there's enough units on the board. We get another dead laugh. So we overcome this. For sure. All to consume. We can even do this. Do I run out of space? I don't think so. Does this have a death wish? No. My banshee might die. Now I'm just gonna spawn an insectoid because it might absorb a couple of air shots. Time for the Toad Prince. Where are uh, where is all the damage? <sighs> Let's do that while we can. Although I could have used it on something else. Probably the bridge shot. That's fine. So we'll play. How many one each? Two, one. It's fine. We'll play a bridge troll. And then we will consume that bridge troll. These respawn. Then what do I consume? <laughs> two stacks, one stack, two stacks, three stacks. What do I consume? One stack, two stacks? It seems silly to consume that. So we'll consume this. There's our Thrive here as well. And then just the slizzards. That did not put us high enough. Let's play this. I'm just a sexy little carbon. Consume it. Should get us another one back. <gasps> Wait. Do I have to suck your boy? I do. It's end of turn though. End of turn. We consume. Hang on. Where is the most? One, 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 one. And two. Consume that. And this. I don't have a dirty mind. And then they... Hopefully, yeah, I was going to say. 